In this video, we are going to look at the ingredients that high-performing teams have in common so that they make the magic happen. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sofia. I am a productivity expert. I'm a project manager with 10 years experience. And in this channel, I am offering tips, techniques, and tools that will help you become better in managing your professional life. I'm going to give you four tips, but stay until the end because the fourth tip is the most important. The first way that project teams manage to perform is if they are comprised of people that have diverse ideas and talents. Maybe someone is stronger in design and someone, someone else is an engineer. This is usually the case with hard skills. You get, for example, a team that has an engineer, a designer, a marketing specialist, and they work together to deliver something. But what really helps a team be cohesive is that their soft skills are complementary. For example, if you have someone in the team that likes to experiment and test new ideas, it's good to have someone that is a perfectionist so they can look at the ideas and see the little details in them. The second element of high performing teams is that they have a high level of trust. Simon Sinek said, a high performing team is a team where everyone can be themselves. And it starts with you as a project manager, as a leader, be authentic, to be truthful. That takes a bit of vulnerability. If you're open about your own weaknesses or your own failures, the team will be open to share theirs too. You have to create a climate where people are willing to admit their mistakes. When I was a quality manager of an airport, this was our number one rule. If you made a mistake, if for some reason you hit an aircraft or you forgot a bug behind, just come to us, let us know and you will not be punished. If we create a climate where people are scared to talk, they will tend to put things under the rug. And what happens when you put a lot of things under the rug, they pile up and at some point, they are visible and they are visible at the wrong time. I'm talking to you project managers. Make sure that your team feels comfortable to talk to you. And finally, on the trust element, you have to try and eliminate gossip. Gossip is created when people don't feel that they can talk freely, when they have opinions that they are afraid to express, when they feel uncomfortable with something, when they disagree with something and there is no place to talk about it because the leader does not allow them to talk. High performing teams are open. They are transparent with each other. They are transparent with their weaknesses, with their failures. When someone says, you know what, can you please, I'm not so good in spelling, can you please check the document that I wrote in case I forgot something? If there is trust between these two persons, the second person who is going to review the document, they are going to do the best to help. The third element of high performing teams is commitment and accountability. I made a video on how project teams are losing so much time because they have to have these meetings where everybody is reporting on their status. And the reason they are having these, these meetings is not because they have something to discuss, but it's because they want to, let's say, publicly shame the persons who are not contributing. If every member of a team is committed and accountable, they will deliver their tasks on time or they will inform you that I'm having a delay, I'm having a challenge. They will inform you beforehand and they will put their best self in order to make sure that they deliver something good and not only something good, something excellent. How do you create this commitment and accountability? First of all, it starts from the way you treat your team. You have to treat them the same way or better than you want to be treated. If people feel that their needs are met, if people feel that you care about them, they will start caring more about the project. Please hit the subscribe and the notification button below because I will be bringing more, much more content to you. The last but not least, <laughs> they can have fun. It sounds strange, right? When shit hits the fun, people will remember the fun times that they had with each other. As a comedian, Roy Orban rightfully said, if we can't laugh together, we can't work together. 
having an element of enjoyment, having a laugh, having humor creates more connection with a team. And you know, at the end of the day, people are willing to give their best if they are enjoying what they are doing. And one of the ways that we are enjoying being in a place is when we are having fun. Depending on, you know, where, whether your team is located at the same place or they are remote, there are different ways that you can help increase the, the fun level in the team. Some ideas could be going for an afterward drink or having an informal chat where people can share funny memes. As long as it's not offensive to anyone, I encourage you to try and have more humor and more fun in your daily life this way not only your team will be performing and committed but you will also be enjoying your work more